Hi everyone, welcome to Chaz's Lifestyle. In today's episode, I will be showing you how I create this delicious and flavorful teriyaki salmon with fried rice. So first things first, all of my ingredients are listed down below in the description box. So if you're interested in cooking this recipe, be sure to check that out. Here are my seasonings mixed together and here are my pretty salmon fillets. You can use whatever salmon fillets you prefer. I usually like to stick with coho, but this is perfectly fine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rub on some of that truffle infused olive oil. You can use regular olive oil or avocado oil, whichever one you prefer. So I will be basting the salmon fillets on each side and on the sides of the fillets as well with that oil. This is going to ensure that my seasonings stick very well. Now I'm going to start by seasoning the bottom side first. The reason why is because I'd love to have a pretty presentation when my salmon is done cooking. So I like to season that side last. Okay, so I'm gonna flip that back over and season that side as well as the sides. Now I'm just using my brush to make sure the salmon is fully coated with the seasonings and everything is coated evenly. Here are some of my ingredients for the fried rice. Like I said, all of the ingredients will be listed down below in the description. So I'm using a wok. You wanna make sure your wok is pretty hot. I'm adding in a little oil. I'm just gonna go ahead and scramble the egg. You don't have to add as much oil. You can just use some nonstick cooking spray. This is just a personal preference. So I'm gonna scramble that. You don't wanna scramble it till it's you know it's overcooked. You just wanna scramble it lightly and you wanna make sure your egg is still really fluffy and soft. Once that is cooked and chopped to my liking, I will be adding in my parboiled cooked rice. You can use whatever rice you like, but this is just something we prefer. Now I'm gonna mix in the rice first with the eggs. Now I'm adding in some butter. This is the classic fried rice. You wanna add in the butter to give it more flavor and to also help those seasonings stick on that rice. So I'm just gonna incorporate that in so it can go ahead and start melting. Now I'm gonna add in my frozen peas as well as some freshly chopped carrots. Next, I'm gonna add in my organic Chinese bean sprouts. This is optional. And I'm gonna hit it with a little razzle dazzle and add in some of those green onions, okay? Next, we're going to season this bad boy up. I have some dark soy sauce, light soy sauce, that does matter. And I'm also using hoisin sauce. <laughs> Um, and then I have this amazing fried rice seasoning that's my go-to. You can definitely tell the difference when you don't use this seasoning, but if you decide to use that seasoning and you find it at your local grocery store, it is the bomb.com. Now it's time to season it with the fried rice seasoning. You can add salt and pepper to your liking or you really can just add soy sauce. Um, that's gonna give it the flavor and enough salt base that you really need for the fried rice. And of course we need more butter, okay people? Add the butter, trust me, it makes a big difference. Now I'm just seasoning it to taste. I'm making sure I taste it a little bit just to see what else I would like to add. Um, so after I add in soy sauce, I'm gonna give that a quick mix and it's frying as I am mixing it up. My heat is on a medium high heat. So I set that to the side and now I'm gonna work on my salmon. I am using a cast iron. I really recommend that for a beautiful sear, but you can use whatever you prefer. Um, my heat is on a medium heat.
So I'm gonna go ahead and cook that for about four to five minutes and then I'm gonna double check to ensure it's fully cooked. So while that's searing on the nice side, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my teriyaki sauce. So like I said, all of my ingredients will be listed down below in the description box. It's easier just to list it down below so you can either screenshot it Now what I tend to notice is with teriyaki sauces, um, they tend to be a little salty even at restaurants and stuff. So making my own homemade teriyaki sauce has helped me out so much. You can add what you want. If you want a little sweet, more sweetness to it, you can add that if you... But me, I prefer my teriyaki sauce to be more on the sweeter side. So I made sure I added in more honey and brown sugar. After about four minutes, I went ahead and flipped the salmon on the other side. And I'm going to let that cook for an additional four to five minutes or until fully cooked. Now here you see, and I added some sesame seeds. Also, I earlier I showed you me stirring in my cold water with the cornstarch that's going to create a cornstarch slurry this helps thicken up your sauce okay so it just depends me i prefer the teriyaki glaze i want it to be that sticky sauce that really stuck on the salmon so i added a little bit more cornstarch but add as you like as you can see once it cooks for about two to three minutes it becomes thick like so so i went ahead and turned off my heat and it's still hot, I'm gonna add in that salmon. It's better this way so you can quickly glaze the salmon. This teriyaki sauce thickens up pretty fast. So make sure you're moving as fast as you can, okay? <laughs> so now I'm just gonna glaze the salmon with that teriyaki sauce. Look how beautiful that sauce looks. Oh my gosh, it just looks so flavorful and it was. It was so good, you all. If you decide to try this, make sure you tag me on Instagram at Chaz's Cuisine Story, okay? Also, if you enjoyed watching this quick tutorial, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share.